Hello there, it's Ruth Sherman, CEO and celebrity speech and media coach, but you don't have to be famous to work with me. People who know me know I am no sports fan, but I am a music fan. I love music. I have an undergraduate degree in music. So I'm not inclined to watch big sports events like the Super Bowl, but when I found out that the powers that be at Super Bowl HQ had decided to bring in the great metropolitan opera diva, Renee Fleming, I knew I had to watch. I was hooked. And so <clears throat> it was really interesting to watch the performance. She did a fantastic job. And another thing that was going on was that the arrangement was different. The arrangement in music is how the um, song is written in that particular case. So there are different timings and different harmonies. And it wasn't the typical way that we usually hear the national anthem. It happened to have been arranged by somebody I know uh, who um, arranged it specifically for Renee Fleming. Anyway, she did a fantastic job. Nobody can hit those high notes like an opera singer. And the national anthem, for those of you who don't know, is an extremely challenging song to sing. But here's something that I thought was really, really interesting. I saw this on Renee Fleming's Facebook page. And if you look at this photo, this is a screen capture that I have, uh, that I shared with my people, you'll see that she shared that even she gets nervous. Now, she didn't come out and state it directly, but she did imply it. And this is cool because it covers a couple of, um, of important things that she understands as a public figure you have to do in order to relate to your audience. The first is that she let us know that she has some vulnerability. This is so huge. Letting people in a little bit, we call it tearing down the walls or TDTW. Letting people in to your inner self, letting them know how you really feel instead of um, letting people believe that it's just easy for you to walk out onto a field in front of thousands and thousands of fans and goodness knows how many fans were watching and be able to pull it off a performance in that high stakes of an environment. The second thing that she let us know, and this of course was part of being the being vulnerable part, was that she gets stage fright. She was nervous. Of course she was. Every performer knows this and every professional speaker knows it too. So two really key things, two great lessons to learn from someone like Renee Fleming. Number one, nerves are okay. Number two, let people in a little bit. They will love you for it. And if you want to know more about letting people in and all about stage fright, hop on over to ruthsherman.com where you can download my free gift to you absolutely free. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.